Mr. Sir. This is a couple of tunes. The first one called Oliver Jack, and then I'll go into one called The Merry Boys of Greenland, which is probably one of the most famous whaling tunes from, from around here. Yeah, this is uh, Wallafjord. Today, if you know you're sitting in Larwick and you can imagine that uh, influx of people every year. So the whalers, I, I suppose, are, are musical. They've left a bit of a musical legacy there that's continued. I could play you one tune that's a kind of a, a I'd say a bonny tune. It's a, called the Greenland Man's Tune. And it's quite atmospheric. They said there was Greenlandic words for it at one time, but... Um, they're, they don't know them anymore, but the melody is it's a really lovely melody. I'll see if I can see if I can play a bit to you. Um, quite atmospheric. You can imagine being up at the North Ice with this. Thank you. 
Well, in Shetland, we're lucky because we've had it handed down from fiddle player to fiddle player. But um, I really didn't expect to find any evidence of fiddle players in Greenland um, recording in Shetland. Our archives only go back, really, but maybe the 1950s, or there's some collectors that wrote things down in the 40s. But I actually, I went to the archives in Copenhagen, and there, there were collectors that went up there that when they went with expedition ships and they had all the latest scientific equipment, photography, plates, you know, that you could see the high quality photos they took, but they also had sound recording equipment. And this is 1905, 1906. And among all the vast archive they have of mostly Greenlandic song and dance, uh, 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 drum, drum dances, then there were some snippets and real gems of fiddle music. And it must have been just the, there was a dance going on and they stuck on and recorded a couple of tunes. And listening that to, to me as a Shetland fiddle player, I could immediately uh, recognize the style. What uh, struck me with the recording was how good the fiddle player was. A really accomplished fiddle player and uh, tremendous energy and drive for the playing. And you think this is, I think that there's a couple of records, there's a really old one at 1906, but there's an, another slightly better quality one for the 1930s, and obviously they were still playing fiddle uh, up there then. Thank <laughs> you. 